If this seems like a distant future, think again. Because according to the latest report by Niti Aayog, with 75% of households still without access to drinking water at their premises, India is ranked 120th out of 122 countries on the Quality of Water Index. Today, 600 million Indians are living under extreme water stress. This means they are unable to meet their human and ecological demand for fresh water. What complicates matters is, this region produces 20 to 30 percent of the country's food and threatens national food security. Additionally, 54 percent of India's groundwater wells are declining. Of the accessible water, 70 percent is contaminated and as a result, 200,000 people die every year due to inadequate access to safe drinking water. While more than 90% of the urban population has had access to basic water since the year 2000, by 2020, 21 major cities including Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad are expected to run out of groundwater, affecting 100 million people. By the year 2030, demand will be double of the available supply and 40% of the population will not have access to drinking water. And by 2050, 6% of GDP will be lost due to the water crisis. In short, if we don't change our consumption patterns, policy and mindset, we are fucked. But this is one future we can change. Water is a replenishable resource. It snows and rains each year. More importantly, other than in the case of agriculture, we don't consume water. We use and discharge. Therefore, it can be treated, reused then recycle it. First, we need to augment available water by capturing every drop. Second and most importantly, we need to combine this with efficiency. In agriculture, it means changing cropping patterns so that we stop growing water guzzling crops like rice, wheat and sugarcane in areas where water is scarce. It means redesigning policies to incentivize farmers to diversify crops. If water efficiency is the agenda for agriculture, then reducing our consumption and water recycling has to be the agenda for cities and industries. For instance, recently over 2 lakh residents in Bangalore participated in the Half Bucket Challenge in a bid to ditch the shower. In short, water literacy is the need of the hour.